are loads of different ways to arrive at Royal Ascot. And quite frankly, Ed, you can keep your skydiving oh. with Jason Weaver, because I have got a taxi with Johnny Murta, who 20 years ago was on a flying machine all of his own, the magnificent Choisir. Yes, 20 years ago, hard to believe, but what a day. I remember it like it was yesterday. King Stan Stakes riding an Australian horse, the first Australian horse to come to Ascot and to not only win the King Stan Stakes, but four days later to go on and win the Golden Jubilee. It was one of those special occasions. You don't realise at the time the significance of it, but it opened the door. I always say I put the Aussies on the map in Ascot. <laughs> you sure did. They opened the floodgates for a whole host of other Australian sprinters. We've got more today, so we'd better get to the races. Right, Johnny, how good are the Aussie Raiders today? We've got Coolangatta and Cannonball in the King's Dam. I think it, they, they have to do it all to beat Highfield Princess. I love the way she ran first time out. Everything is towards Royal Ascot, King's Dam Stakes. She's the one to, to, to beat today. Yeah, I think I'm with you, Highfield Princess. First race is the Queen Anne over the mile for the older horses. Who wins? Frankie de Tory in Spiral. It's, she goes well fresh. Uh, she's got the Godolphin two horses to beat, Native Trail and Modern Games. Modern games but I think goes well fresh, she's the one for me to get the meeting off to a great start with Frankie de Tori. Here we are, Francesca. We've arrived. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, thank you. And Johnny, like you mentioned, you and I, like so many people here today, will be looking to see Frankie de Tori ride some winners on his farewell year at Royal Alaska, where already he's made so many great memories. 